Welcome to the University of Utah and the Milestone Advising Program. In this video, you'll learn an overview of the Milestone Advising Program, also known as MAP, how MAP benefits you as a student, your responsibilities and next steps, and how to schedule your required advising appointment. So what is the Milestone Advising Program? First, let's talk about advising. Academic advisors or staff at the U who strive to empower students with knowledge and confidence to create a unique undergraduate journey as they explore, develop, and take responsibility for achieving their academic goals. Academic advisors are a support system for all things academic related, and they can connect you to other resources to provide a holistic support to you as a student at the U. You are encouraged to meet with your academic advisor at any time with questions or concerns about academics or progress toward your degree, but there are specific times or milestones in your academic journey that you are required to meet with your academic advisor. If you do not meet with an advisor at these specific times, you will have a hold placed on your record, preventing you from registering for future semesters. As a first year student at the University of Utah, during your first semester, you are required to meet with an academic advisor. What are your next steps or responsibilities as a part of the Milestone Advising Program? Step one is to schedule that advising appointment. Step two is to prepare for the appointment through watching a series of videos about tools like the degree audit and to learn about the major exploration process. Step three, meet with your academic advisor. Step four, register for spring 2023 classes. If you complete steps one through three by November 7th, you will get early registration access for those spring courses. Getting access to register early means you get a greater course selection. This is a big deal because typically your registration date is based on the number of total credit hours you have and the more credits you have, the earlier in the semester you get access to enroll. By meeting with an academic advisor before November 7th, you'll be among the first group of students who gets access to enroll in 1,000 and 2,000 level courses. The first step in your responsibilities is to schedule that advising appointment. Who you meet with, depends on a few different factors. Are you undecided or exploring through different majors? You'll meet with an advisor in the Academic Advising Center. If you have a specific major in mind already, or perhaps you're figuring it out between a few different options, we do encourage you to use your milestone advising appointment as a time to meet with a major advisor. For example, if you're interested in psychology, you can schedule an appointment with the psychology advisor to learn more about that major and make a plan for spring classes. If you meet with a major advisor for your MAP appointment and through that experience you learn it's not a major you want to continue exploring, you can always schedule a future appointment with a major exploration advisor in the Academic Advising Center. It's okay to change your mind and your major as you learn more about yourself, your interests, skills, values, and career goals. This can help you to feel more confident in that major decision later on. You should have received an email to your email account telling you a little bit more about the milestone advising appointment. In that email or in the text message you received, there is a scheduling link. That should take you to a post with more information and there you should see the option to schedule map appointment. By clicking that link, you will be taken to a self-guided tool that will help you get connected to the best advisor to help you continue exploring or talk about a specific major. If you are exploring majors and you want assistance scheduling that appointment, you can call the Academic Advising Center at 801-581-8146 and speak to a scheduling assistant to get help with that MAP first year appointment. If you are wanting to talk with a specific major advisor, call their office to schedule with them as well. Many offices are offering a variety of appointment types, so you can select what works best for you, whether that is in-person, phone, or remote, using a platform like Zoom. Step two, prepare for your appointment. In your post with more details about this milestone advising appointment, you will see two videos, one to tell you more about the degree audit, which is a tool that can help you learn about all the requirements to earn that bachelor's degree at the U. 
and the second video will help you learn more about the major exploration process and resources to help with that. Step three, meet with your academic advisor. In that milestone advising appointment, there are learning outcomes that we hope you accomplish by the time you're done with that meeting. Some of these outcomes you're actually accomplishing by completing the steps that we outlined in this video. Those are things like knowing how to generate a degree audit and interpret that audit, knowing how to build an appropriate class schedule, knowing how to find your registration date and time, and lastly, being able to identify at least one resource to help you explore majors. That fourth and final step is to actually register for your spring 2023 classes. If you completed that advising appointment before November 7th, then you will have priority registration starting on November 7th at 7 a.m. Again, that lets you register for 1,000 and 2,000 level classes. You will also have another assigned registration date. Most first year students will have access to begin registering for classes on November 15th or later. If you are registering for any 3,000 level classes or above, you'll be able to finish registering for those classes starting at that second assigned date. To find that assigned registration date, you will log into your CIS student homepage, click on the registration tile, and there should be an option on that left side menu to view your registration dates. Remember, in addition to the milestone advising required appointment, which could put a hold on your account, there are other holds that you will want to check for in order to be able to register for classes. These are things like an admissions hold, which could mean that admissions is missing a high school transcript or a transcript from concurrent enrollment from the community college or university that those classes were coming from. You could have a health or immunizations hold. Income accounting, meaning there's a remaining balance on your student account from your tuition this semester. And lastly, that sexual assault prevention course. That's a required online course that there should be a link for you to complete. Make sure to check for those holds in order to successfully enroll in your next semester classes. And lastly, remember, schedule your advising appointment today. Those can fill up fast, so the sooner you do so, the sooner we'll be able to check in 